I'm Mike Saunders, I'm Chief Technology Officer. Um, my day-to-day -day is very much around making strategic decisions, helping the team guide on software um, implementation and really making sure that the team has the support and the infrastructure that they need to be the best versions of themselves, have, to have a happy place to work at and really um, allow self-expression and, and really perform at their best. Um, there's a lot going on here, um, everything from 3D design, level design, um, game mechanics, all of our byte streaming technology, back-end networking happens here. Um, our web engineers, combat systems, um, all of the crypto work. So it's really, really, really diverse. Um, super interesting from that perspective. Um, and being able to sort of be part of a um, very tight-knit ecosystem that is physically fenced off as well um, is really cool because ultimately when these things kind of come together and combine and we see a, a product result from all of these disparate sort of work streams, um, it's really, really interesting. Um, I think it can be a little bit confusing at times, um, you know, for, for the team members individually, but as long as we are consistently making clear the vision, articulating that really well, and giving the guys the support that they need and the time to execute their tasks to sort of the, the world-class level that we know our software team is capable of, it all kind of comes together in a, in a wonderful crescendo. As an MMORPG, being hyper-realistic 3D assets um, brings a certain level of immersion that I don't think MMOs um, in the industry, of, well, play, gamers in the industry have seen from MMOs. Um, and the other component would obviously be the, the crypto layer. Um, the most compelling component around the crypto layer of the game that we're bringing in is um, bringing real world utility into the in-game grind for players that they can actually take that out off board as something that's of tangible value, whether it be you know, NFTs to trade around, move around, or actually convert that into some kind of currency which has actual tangible value to them. I think my personal favorite aspect of Starvara has been the opportunity for our development and creative team's self-expression. Um, creating a, a world, um, essentially a, a, a parallel universe um, in a digital ecosystem across multiple solar systems, multiple different planets, has given us the opportunity to explore different lore, um, different ways that the humans, uh, humans have expanded through this, this this universe, um, exploring nascent technologies, but at every avenue, um, every individual has had some aspect of self-expression which is landing itself onto 3D assets, storylines or quest lines, and that's really exciting, is that there's gonna be a little blueprint of every single person in this business, ultimately, when we launch our game. I wouldn't say anything specific. Um, you know, there's a lot that goes on here, um, but probably the most amusing um, relationship would be between uh, Dom and Wynn. Um, the, the founding partners, um, or, you know, from the, on the dev side, um, they're varsity mates, they're colleagues, business partners, boxing sparring partners, um, pretty much have a cat and dog relationship, so it's a, it brings amusement to us every day. I truly think that we're breaking the mold here, um, and if there's just one thing for players to take away, it would be a change in perception of what uh, MMO can be, uh, what MMO RPG specifically. Um, we want to be at the forefront of changing the narrative of what video games can be to mass like our mass consumer base.